So we encourage people to continue using this bridge, which is very safe. We have provided security both ends from this end of the island and the other side of the mainland. We have adequate uh, officers and we will continue to do surveillance and we will continue to do patrols within this area so that the citizens who are using the bridge are safe. We open the bridge at 4 to the public and during that time as we open, we have a multi-agency team that ensures the security of the citizens who are using this bridge. Currently, it's being used by about 216,000 uh, pedestrians cro crossing from either side. And therefore, we want to encourage and uh, more people to use it so that we are able to attain a target of about 300,000 per day so that we can decongest the, the ferries and at the same time, we can also contain the spread of the coronavirus. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is a call to the people of Mombasa, the visitors to Mombasa, to ensure that uh, they use, make full use of the Liwatoni Bridge. Usually, you realize that the hours that we have scheduled for the opening and closing of the bridge uh, is synchronized with the peak hours when people are leaving work, going home, or when people are leaving home, going to work, when children are leaving home, going to school, and when they are coming back home. That's uh, early in the morning between 4 a.m. and 9 a.m. and in the evening between 4 p.m. and 9 p.m. Uh, on the other hours when the bridge is open, the ships now can navigate into uh, uh, the Likoni Channel, into the port and out, out of the port. And over the period of time we've been operating the bridge, I think the shippers have now appreciated land and gotten used to the new schedules you'll realize we no longer have situations where ships are coming uh, closer to the bridge during the hours when the bridge is closed for for pedestrian usage when we started off initially we our intention this, you you need to realize this is the the the, fa the the only not the first this is the only covid response infrastructure project in the country uh, I really, I, you, you may understand that government put a lot of money into trying to combat COVID when COVID struck in 2020 March. And this is one of the, the key projects that the government did and the only infrastructure project which was delivered in six months at a cost of 1.9 billion shillings. Um, the initial idea was to try and ease congestion at the ferry. But over time we've come to learn that uh, the bridge has brought a lot of other health benefits. Uh, people are now able to walk a little bit more, people are able to sweat, people are able to uh, make their bodies, uh, you know, go through activities that, you know, uh, expel the waste from the body and leave them uh, much, much healthier. But secondly, it has enabled people not to sit here waiting for long hours, waiting for the ferry to come so, so that it can enable them to cross over. So once you arrive at the floating bridge, as long as the floating bridge is open for usage, you just walk across and get home or you walk across and get to work. You don't have to sit waiting. And we have realized that over time, as we've been using the bridge, there are many people across the country who have heard that there is a floating bridge, a floating pedestrian bridge in Mombasa. When they come around, instead of coming to Liwatoni, they go to Likoni. Uh, the message we would like people to understand is that when you come to Mombasa, the bridge is at Liwatoni. We have provided a, 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 a bus park, both on the northern side and the southern side. On the southern side, we are actually planning to expand the road that accesses uh, the bus park so that we have more vehicles coming in, coming in with ease and coming in much more safely because we appreciate that there is also tuk-tuks and motorbikes and vehicles. So if you have a, 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 a tight space for them to use, it compromises safety. But we, have, we are doing something about it on the southern side because the road that was available is a bit narrow and we were not able to acquire at the start. But there is a plan to acquire and expand the road so that the access to uh, the Peleleza bus park is made a lot easier. Generally, we expect that the numbers should continue increasing up to the day when the lifespan of the bridge is supposed to come to an end. And when I say lifespan, I don't mean that the materials used for building the bridge will become old. What I mean is that we have a time frame within which we had uh, done the floating bridge 
to allow us to move pedestrians across safely. When that time comes, when we do the Mombasa Gate Bridge, which is a bigger project than this and which is a lot more permanent, we will have to decommission the floating bridge so that we allow the Gate Bridge to be completed and begin functioning and serving more or less the similar uh, purposes that the floating bridge is serving today.